Hello, hello, and welcome back to the 3 at Moon live stream. It's Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. My name is Matt, otherwise known as 3 at Moon, here on Twitch and YouTube. And if you're watching live on twitch.tv slash 3 up underscore moon, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're not following the channel already, click that follow button. I stream retro games every day from 1 p.m. Pacific onward. I play ROM hacks, I play mods. I'm a big fan of playing randomizers of retro games where we take a lot of the elements like enemies and levels and boss health and all sorts of different things, power-ups, and shuffle them around just to create like a new experience every time. I'm a big fan of roguelike games and modern, more modern roguelike games like uh, Hades or The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, we actually have about 30 or so streams up on my YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube right now after the fact, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I have every single one of my streams there in full. You can go back and watch all of my Binding of Isaac runs. Uh, you can go back and watch the first two parts of Paper Mario Black Pit. This is part three of a really, really cool ROM hack that just came out this year. It's called Paper Mario Black Pit, and uh, it pulls in the idea of the Pit of 100 Trials from the Thousand Year Door to the GameCube Paper Mario game, um, which is just an, an enemy gauntlet, basically. It takes that idea and builds it into like a basic story in the original game. There's also a really cool mode called Roguelike Mode, and think Binding of Isaac um, in that when you pick up badges, you can't take them off. Like you, your buffs and debuffs just stay as they are, and you'll get a completely different setup every every run that you do. Um, you have to still go through rooms and fight enemies, and there's also chests that will appear, keys that will appear, um, badges that will appear that you'll need certain things to access. Every ten levels, you get a partner at random. So it's sort of like a randomizer version. It's sort of like uh, the Binding of Isaac because every 10 levels you've got this this uh, opportunity to like make a deal with the devil, so to speak, make a deal with the toad, or hire Duke Lee the ghost, or Chet Rippo. So it's, it's, it's a really good combination of a lot of the good aspects of the Binding of Isaac. It also kind of reminds me of the mining sections in Stardew Valley. Uh, where you've got, you know, these these rooms where you, that are kind of safe points and you can choose to go back or continue. It's pretty cool. And if you like the Pit of 100 Trials from the Thousand Year Door, you can also play Classic Pit Mode. It's uh, definitely recommended for sure. If you haven't played Paper Mario before or Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, go give it a shot. Play those games first. I feel like you have to have somewhat of a knowledge of uh, the battle system, which to me is one of my favorite battle systems in any RPG. I'm really stoked about it. So right now we're listening to music from Bomberman 64. Um, it'll just be one moment before we get the game pulled up. And I want to say thank you to Rose's Lion and Runtime 1.0 for the recent follows. And also thank you to IC Pride for the recent resub. I appreciate that. Appreciate the support. So just be a moment here, and then we'll have Paper Mario Black Pit on the Nintendo 64 up next. Stick around.
Welcome to the stream, Grandmaster Farmer. Thank you so much for the dropping in. For the good wishes. Have a great night.
will be starting very soon, so stick around. Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream, everyone. You should be able to see me, you should be able to see the game as well. Paper Mario Black Pit, made by L. Dexter. Their YouTube handle is going to come up here in just a second. But I highly recommend playing this game. I've been having a blast with it the last couple of days. And let's try and beat our personal best and try to get past stage or level uh, 42. Should be able to hear the game as well. Let's see. Uh, of course, okay. Of course, it's gonna do that to me. Just one second here. Okay, you should be able to see it and hear it. Let's try this. Yep, there we go. Let's have some fun. Let me know if you need less or more game audio. I might just turn it down just a touch. Great music choice here. Yo, Adorama, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hope your Triforce hunt went well. I love that you were playing basically as your positivity emote. <laughs> it was a pretty great character choice. Just doing an evening stream today instead of uh, a morning stream because I'm just busy with my partner. In the morning we, we did some volunteering and some grocery delivery in town in the neighborhood. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing, at 11 a.m. Pacific, tomorrow and Thursday, the next two days we're going to be doing two days in a row of co-op uh, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. We're going to be continuing that playthrough with Rathay V. Murray. I'm really, really stoked about that. Do a quick shout out to Rathay as well. We'll both be streaming at the same time. We're both about to do some training to take on the 7th Gym Leader, and it's the furthest that we've gotten 
in uh, any of the games, or so, sorry, in any of our channels for this week, Rodney and Nuzlocke, uh, for both of us in Emerald. What is up? If you're not following Itarama or Parahax, please go give them a follow as well. Welcome, Parahax. How's Tuesday going today? I have to shout out Parahax because of that emote. Okay, Luigi. Okay. You finished building the levels. Are, you mean every level in Voyager is complete? That's awesome. That's exciting news. Because I'm really... Uh, every single level. Nice. So what do you have left to do then before you release it? And I do some, get some people to test it. So I was watching Dirk test it and it was that was pretty cool. The levels looked really fun. For those that don't know, Parahax has been working on their second Super Mario World ROM hack called Voyager. It's got a lot of really cool level concepts. Gonna add a few things, yeah. Nice. Very cool. How much time did that take you from beginning to end from when you started on this hack? It's gotta only have been a couple of months, right? And also, Itarama's been playing Link to the Past Randomizer 2, just like we have recently. Um, so go give Itarama a follow as well. I'm just catching up on the chat here. Itarama says, yeah, I love that sprite. Uh, you got most of the way through Ganon's Tower, and you were still missing three Triforce pieces. Oh, wow. It's crazy, because I've definitely played on my tablet of all things. A long time ago, I played on my tablet the Triforce Hunt, and was able to find 20 fairly easy in like five or six seeds in a row. And then now that I've been trying to play it on the stream, um, I've been in situations where it's like, yeah, 17 is my max, or like we get stuck at 15 or 16. It's interesting. It'd be an interesting thing to race as well. And Parahax is saying, Do you gotta add some message box text and an ending sequence. And whatever else needs to be fixed after testing. We started at the end of February. Cool. Very cool. Well, congrats on building all, all those things. I'm, I'm impressed. Like, it's definitely a vast, vast, vast improvement from, um, Curse of King Boo. Not that Curse of King Boo is bad, but just, you can tell. And, you know, every hack you're going to make, every level you're going to make, because we were talking about this yesterday, every level that you make is going to end up being better than the previous one, right? When you, when you do that uh, creative limitation stream, you should do that for the release of the game, actually. For the release of Voyager, you should do like a that level creation um, idea that you were saying, where you know you have to give yourself three hours for per level and see how many levels you can do in twenty four hours. The last level you make in that in that stream is going to be the best one. It's just like anything, right? You get more practice. Uh, Itarama, you're saying, to make a uh, Triforce hunt link to the past randomizer race more reasonably timed, we could add more Triforce pieces that are needed. Uh, yeah, that's right. You had it set to 15, so I'm I'm interested in seeing what that's all about in terms of um, like how, how we can go in and tweak it a little more, because I don't really, I haven't gotten like further into the settings with link to the past randomizer enough to like go in and tweak it, like choose which exact, you know, items we have and that kind of thing. And I know that you can do that. So that must just be in the advanced settings. That's a great idea. Um, if you're just joining in, actually the last part or the last VOD, we're just picking up where we left off. So essentially it's the pit of a uh, hundred trials. We have, you know, we're only on level 10, so we're not too far. So we'll just start from here and continue our run. We're playing uh, with the retro Game Boy skin. So we're playing this Game Boy Mario. Uh, and we have Bombette, that is it, in terms of our partner. So that's an extra person to battle with, which is super useful. This is where, you know, the game, in my opinion, this is where the run really starts. Um, the way this works is kind of like the Binding of Isaac, where you just go room to room, and it's um, you keep going through the blue pipe. The green pipe is if you want to give up, or uh, akin to like the Stardew Valley mining sequence, like if you want to return back to your farm. Um, you can save all the coins you've earned in battle this way. If I die in the run, then I only get half of the coins that we've earned in battle. So there's some strats there. Coins will get us furniture in the main room, will get us different skins. Coins will also get us uh, upgrades for classic pit mode, which is essentially like a one-to-one -one version of the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, 
that we can just take, like, you know, always take the super boots. Like, I already bought the super boots, so I can always take the super boots into classic mode now. Uh, which means our jump attacks will do one more damage. But let me just take a look at the badges here. The badges uh, accumulate, and you can't take them off in roguelike mode. Um, so just like picking up items one after another in, or buffs one after another in The Binding of Isaac, um, will just give you a completely different setup and different combination of items. Uh, this is the, kind of the same thing. So we got the, we, this is the order that we got them in, I think, in, from the bottom. So we got Spike Shield first, so if we jump on Spiked enemies, we're totally fine. Peekaboo allows us to see our enemy's HP, super useful. We have Hammer Throw and Spin Smash, which are two of my favorite, next to the Mega Quake and the, the Quake Hammer. Um, two, like Those are my favorite uh, hammer moves for sure. The Spin Smash is awesome because you can, um, if Mario hits an enemy, it smashes into the ones behind it. So you can do like multiple damage. Um, Dizzy Stomp is pretty decent. And then we also have the Super Jump Charge, which uh, charges our jump power by four. It, it's kind of a look at it like focus energy in Pokemon. We use this, and then directly afterwards, we have to either use a like dizzy stomp or a normal jump, and that'll boost our attack power. But if we use this and then use the hammer, we lose that charge. It has to be um, before a consecutive move. We have no items, so this is just where we're starting with. We've got Bombette, um, which, depending on the room, will open allow us to open up and get to certain chests and badges. There's also achievements. Built-in achievements. And if you want to see us do the first 10 levels previous to this, you can just check out the previous VOD. Or if you're on YouTube, just check out part 2. having an awesome Tuesday so far. Would you do a labyrinth level para hacks in that series of levels? A labyrinth level that required you to use the bombs to blow up sections like blow up sections of walls and stuff I think that'd be a really cool idea for a level looks like this lock has a one engraved yes I will take it this is the mega quake perfect one of my favorite attacks
I'm just guessing right now. I can't see. Emulator's frozen. Oh, I missed whatever dropped out. We got some coins, probably. And one heart. One. We're gonna start from scratch. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, this guy will sell you. Chuck Quizmo, he'll sell you um, outfits and furniture for this room. He bought the sarcophagus. This guy's the one who set you on the quest of like, yo, do these, go through the pit of a hundred trials so that we, you can save all of us that are here. And this guy's like, I'll save money for you. Actually, how much money do you have? You need a thousand to upgrade. And we already spent a thousand on the super boots. And then this guy gives you the upgrades for your partner characters and stuff, but we have Goombario here, except, however, that's just for classic mode. As soon as we go into roguelike, it just clears everything. Scratch. We don't get a partner until the 10th floor. So it's definitely worth taking on the Koopas that guard the springs, but not any of the other enemies, at least until the 10th level. Until you have a partner to help you in battle. does like one more damage than it normally would. Uh, before we continue, I'm just going to use the washroom. We'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, let's continue. Zero keys, so we just need to pass that one by. Those action commands it just it can really screw you over. keys so we can't do that. That's the same equivalent to what we have for we have the mega jump and the mega smash, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Mega jump, mega smash. This is our classic mode unlocked badges, and this is our roguelike badges. They can't be removed. Yeah. So we have those two. Just one second. I've got such bad allergies, I gotta take an allergy pill for sure. For sure. Just one moment.
Okay, I'm back. Hopefully that'll help. Hopefully the allergy pill will help. And Super Mario Brothers 2 stopwatch. Hell yeah! <laughs> We drive through. Sure. The jelly shroom. I like that. I like the uh, I like the fact that it looks like the Ma the Mario Two mushroom as well, specifically, but also just a cool cool design. It's a dessert actually. Five HP, fifty FP. Holy shit! Well, now that we're on to the tenth level, we're able to buy stuff from the, the shop. We're able to sacrifice hearts, which we don't have enough to do. This is the deal with the devil I was talking about. We did it last time in the last stream, and it was not worth it. Definitely not. Unless we're, like, near the end. Because there's 100 levels here. So if we're near the end, then it might be worth it. Or if we found badges to increase our hearts. Uh, it says one heart here, but actually it's going to take five. This would take ten from us. <clears throat> Which we don't have to spare. And in here, we get a badge and a partner. So let's get that first, then let's buy some stuff. First partner of this run is... Black Isle Star. Black Isle Star. And Power Quake. Nice. <clears throat> oh, it's Raichu! Only thing we can afford is one ice potato, which is a healing item. It's pretty decent. Shooting star is pretty cool. 
and boiled egg. Um, to be honest, we're not missing out on too much. <coughs> He's gonna have different items every time. The Calister is great in battle. We can huck spiny eggs at uh, enemies. And if you jump into the cloud with the Calister, then we can float over spikes or lava. So if you see any spike or lava sections, we'll know we need that Moya to help us. stronger than uh, Bombette to get in the beginning because it actually does one more damage. All of his attacks do one more damage than Bombette. That's because you get Lacoste near the end of Paper Mario and you get Bombette closer to the beginning. If you're just strictly looking at the partner stats like before you upgrade them, because everyone can be upgraded. You're missing one key for that. That sucks. That would have expanded our uh, FP. More So the only way to get to this is to have the upgraded hammer, which we don't have, or to have Bombette, which we don't have. So, keep on moving. That was 
and this. That's crazy. Or we need Bombette. In battle, makes most enemies who touch Mario take damage. Nice. I'll definitely take that. Cooper, then we could head over there, shoot that that uh, switch with his shell, but we don't. that too, even though it's a big chest. We don't have a healing item. I'd like to get that item up there, but the red locks are locked by hearts. We only have five hearts.
because of one missed action command. That sucks. That means we gotta start from scratch. to the standard Mario. <clears throat> From the top with no badges, with the standard hammer and the standard boots, and no partners. Smash and Mega Quake, that's a great way to start. charging move so it's just gonna boost our uh, hammer attack for one turn. Power 
Super Smash. Still have one left. Oh, well. that's fine. Before this, I didn't really know there was any ROM hacks of Paper Mario at all. I don't think anybody had attempted to make a ROM hack, and I think this is a fantastic way to just reimagine it and turn it into a completely different game. I've been looking for, you know, a new roguelike style game to play. I still play a ton of The Binding of Isaac Re Rebirth, uh, which we started here on stream. We've done about 30 streams, which you can go get uh, up on my YouTube channel. But I'm getting delays for some reason when I stream Binding of Isaac, so this, this perfectly hit that, uh, scratch that itch. Issue. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream, like, hashtag totally not addicted, exactly. A good game to me makes me want to keep getting better at it, and, you know, Battletoads was one that gave me that satisfaction recently. Um, Kabuki Quantum Fighter and Batman are right against both games, one by Sunsoft and one by, um, HAL, people who have played it, and Super Smash. Well, that was dumb of me. Whoa, that was real dumb. I left a room that had four treasure chests for us. That could be super detrimental. We can't go back. Do I use X split? No. Um, I know people use that for like speed runs and stuff, but does it have any other purpose besides uh, setting up splits? To time yourself. performance and also uses less data than OBS. Interesting. Interesting. That's good to know. That might make it better for um, Binding of Isaac. I saw some Yoshi's cookie. Hell yeah. The big cookie. A huge cookie baked by Tasty. It restores 20 FP. Hell yeah. Yoshi's cookie is easily my favorite. NES puzzle game. You use it for Isaac, uh, for when you're streaming Isaac. Nice. Very cool. Because I know that certain sections and certain combinations of items in Isaac are just really well known to like, cause lag as well, too. Our first partner of the run, Bumbario. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? Okay. Increases attack power, decreases defense power. That's the one. I didn't want the inverse of that, which we've had before. The P down, D up. Let's heal. Let's ignore chat Rippo. Let's talk to uh, Ralph. Let's see what items we got for sale here. Tasty tonic, cures poison and shrinking. Frozen fries and fright jar. Uh, we're going to have to get at least one frozen fries because we need some healing items. Let's see what, what items we have right now. Double jump. Where do you see that double jump? I'm gonna buy one tasty tonic just in case we... In case we need it, in 
case we get poisoned. It says for shrinking as well. I don't remember shrinking being, being a thing in this game. As an affliction, but apparently it is. That was an awful time to take a drink of coffee. Mario is basically like having a, a stunted version of Mario because he can't use the hammer at all. Can we? No, four keys and we have zero. That sucks. That would have been amazing to be able to boost our uh, our HP that early on. Uh, the furthest I've gotten is level 42. In the last stream, I think the furthest that we got was level 22 or 24 or something. Uh, we need Lacalster to go over these spikes, so that's not going to help us. first strikes yet. Uh, yeah, got a couple. Got a couple. This is bad, though. If I defend perfectly, it takes two damage for us. Because our defense went down even even though uh, we got that boost. This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. This is super bad. We did that wrong. so much for the, the host. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think it was Lagmaster Corbera. They were uh, saying that they were playing some Mario Kart 64 with their brother. And then that sound effect came up and they, they heard what it was saying. Thank you so much for the host. <laughs> because they hear it so much of this. That's a pretty funny association. It wasn't going to happen. Bandits and bandits with piranha plants can really, really, really screw you over, but the fact that we had the lowered defense there was not in our favor. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. The one part battle continues. The White Hot Battle continues! I totally screwed myself by not... Uh, by going through the pipe in that one room where we got four... four treasure chests because it's usually keys and coins, but it's like super necessary to move forward. Uh, we asked this in the last couple streams. Favorite partner? I mean, I think they're all... I think every single partner is useful in battle. I would venture to say that Bombette is the least useful in the first game, mainly because um, Bombette like can't attack anyone that's about the, that's in the air, basically. So that's just a huge disadvantage. But I feel like every single other like uh, partner is pretty decent in terms of battle. Um, my favorite is Lady Bao, though. It's uh, it's always been Lady Bao from the first game, and then my favorite in the second game. Uh, it's got to be the Yoshi Kid, which is different in every copy. I think I don't know if it's every playthrough that you play, you get a different color Yoshi, or it's every single individual copy. That Paper Mario Thousand Year Door disc um, is personalized every every, every disc. Um, and I actually like Bobbery, even though he has the same downfall as Bombette. I like Captain Bobbery a lot, design-wise. You can see Captain Bob on. That's pretty badass. 
I don't think this is going to be three. Yeah, it's, it's ten. We only have three coins. So we did have Sleepy Stomp in one of the runs yesterday. Only in one, though. I've run into it. I've run into it a couple of times, but I haven't picked it up more than once. I'm not going for the clefts. Still to be diving uh, into the uh, Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke again tomorrow with Rathel. The next two gym badges I think are going to be pretty fun to take on in the training, but it's the Elite Four that I'm afraid of because we don't have too many backup Pokemon. So once we kind of get our team whittled down, which it will happen, um, I, I, gotta, I don't see for CS uh, surviving the Elite Four because if all my Pokemon die, then also so do uh, Rathay, so we both have like three points that can take the other person down. Our, our Pokemon encounters are connected, we're doing the soul link rules. It's pretty crazy, it's been a while since we used to play it, so we're gonna do two, uh, two days of co op in it. And if we lose, we'll probably end up starting a version of uh, Pokemon Sweet. We'll do, we're going to be doing a, a soul link of that. It's also Nuzlocke rules, except uh, we won't be randomizing anything. But it's a really cool ROM hack that, that of course, is inaccessible. It's a really cool ROM hack that uh, redesigns all the Pokemon to be like uh, treats or desserts, like pancakes, brownies, apple pies, candies. And all the types become flavors, like strawberry, lime, lemon, chocolate, vanilla. It's a whole new type chart that we have to learn. It's pretty cool, actually. So it's a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Okay, right, right. What's uh, what's your favorite part? Or what's what's the best part in your opinion, Mike? Also, anyone in the chat, if you have uh, a favorite Paper Mario partner, or um, like whether it's by design or if it's in battle or their their world use, like their use on the world map. How useful there. We were uh, talking the last couple days about if they made a Paper Mario 3, like what kind of other enemies could they make as a partner. And uh, Pokey was brought up and also Dry Bones. Dry Bones would be cool to be able to take you over lava or over water with uh, its shell, like a boat from uh, one of those levels in Mario Maker 2. I think Pokey would be cool. He could throw a section of his body at enemies. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice Pokey. My partner was camping with her friends and they were buying the Corgi, so they actually all went together to the Corgi Breeders Farm. And there's this like super cute video of this moment of like twelve baby ponies all just running towards the middle field. It's super funny. Cute. <coughs> Corgi's just uh, make me think of Cowboy Bebop. And apparently there's a live action Cowboy Bebop coming out. I'm a huge, huge fan of the uh, anime. I really love the stylization and the uh, use of music in it. Also, the Cowboy Bebop movie is uh, a super great one to revisit. It came out in, like, what, 2001 or something? 20 years ago, I believe it. A really cool stylized movie. Love the music. Is it Yoko Kano that did the music? I think it was. Uh, you got the Pretty Lucky Badge. Makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while. You know what would be cool is if uh, they actually do cast Keanu Reeves as Spike Spiegel because they've been talking about it for years because basically since the the anime Cowboy Bebop people have been speculating okay there's going to be a live action Cowboy Bebop movie and they've also been speculating for years about the Matrix 4 and it'd be hilarious if the Matrix 4 and Cowboy Bebop the live action movie also starring Keanu Reeves um, would come out around the same time. That'd be pretty funny. Be a weird, a weird thing to come to fruition, but it, you know, it's like a quest that's been 20 years in the making.
also, you look at the new trailer for The Matrix, or the teaser, and it basically just looks like they took a bunch of like leftover scenes from John Wick. Like all the all the, the Neo parts, at least. Looks like they took a bunch of leftover scenes from John Wick and uh, pieced them together into other footage of The Matrix actors. All the Neo parts are just like, are you sure that's not John Wick 3? Are you sure that's not from John Wick Chapter 2? I can see the dog in that screenshot. What the hell? seriousness though I'm interested in the new Matrix movie I think it'd be kind of interesting I mean I'm basically going in skeptical and it's not the fault of the Wachowski for, for that at all it's the fault of uh, all the other remakes and reboots and retreads you know what I, what I really enjoy watching is a good Sherlock Holmes mystery in the 40s 30s or 40s. Those Basil Rathbone films. Those are really cool. I'd love to see the, some of those exact stories. I know they were remade a couple of times, but I'd, I'd love to see more stuff like that. The Elder Limits is one that I've been watching a lot too. It's really cool. The 90s version. to this game. I remember it looking less like a sprite when I was a kid, and more like actual paper. <laughs> like a 3D model that they had modeled, which is pretty funny, but it's basically just a sprite. Can't open that either. I don't really want the stone hat, though. Looks like a, a reject cap from the Super Mario 64 cutting room floor. Or the Super Mario 60 cutter, 60 cutting room floor. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to put it all in, in one. Uh, what can we buy here? We've got Mystery for one, which is really decent. Um, we've got 15 health. This is a really good place to be, having that extra boost of, of health. Um, uh, I'll buy a couple of Mysteries because they can be a, a shroom or a super shroom, or I think even a dried shroom. And they're cheap, some of the mysteries are more expensive. Okay, I'm gonna use all my coins here. I'm gonna buy one more mystery, and then because they, I, I find that they're really useful in battle. I'm gonna buy, not all the battle items are. I'm gonna buy two power blocks, because they hit all enemies. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt is really cool too, but it only just hits one. Maybe we buy one of each. Let's do one of each, just in, just in case we run into like a pokey, uh, a pokey mummy or something. Hmm, maple syrup. Maple syrup. That's the secret to uh, my partner's homemade granola is maple syrup. Yep. No spells. My partner's painting right now. She's she's a pianter. Okay, here we go. Yes. That one's. The, <laughs> I like that the treasure chest is actually full of water. So that's sushi. I feel like sushi's a great a great. Uh, companion in um, battle specifically, and it'll allow us to get past certain water sections in different rooms. We also got the close call badge, when Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. 
That's good, because don't we have pretty lucky as well? So, makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while, and when I'm in danger, we sometimes fail to attack. Oh yeah. I have a good feeling about this run. Just one sec. I'll just be right back. Stick around.
I'm back. Um, I realized I forgot to put music on for you folks. Instead, we got this glitchy, crunchy music from the game. That's fine. Okay, you should be able to see me. You should be able to hear me. Hello. Let's see if I can. Of course, get hit by the enemy. That's what I want to do. Right? So we just have to move on. Keys, come on. I don't want to go for that yet. I don't want to fight that in yet. Nostalgic Mario Kart style. 
the sound effect. Well, you know what, that'll do. Little Freddy Cat statue Mario. That will do. I'm gonna take the coin. That's fine. Oh shit, we can't do anything. His belly flop's gonna hurt us. Upgraded hammer, a stone hammer to break this block, or we can risk it with hearts. However, we don't have many healing items, except actually we do. We actually do. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, that only took three HP. We can get the lucky day badge. So that this is an interesting combo now that we have. We have three of them. We've got close call when we're in danger, uh, enemies fail to attack. We got pretty lucky. Every once in a while, enemies fail to attack, and then Lucky Day sometimes makes them fail. So the combination of all three of these things should be pretty beneficial to us. Um, also, we're going to use this dried fruit from the uh, Dry Dry Desert. It looks really good, actually. Kind of reminds me of like a passion fruit or something. Fourteen. Ah, ah. slow us down and stop us from being able to do the spinny spin. We need parry carry to get that item, but it's just a mystery. But yeah, it would stop us from being, if we got the, the blue skull, the slow-mo badge, it would stop us from being able to do that, and also we'd move super slow. Sushi on our side. Good thing we have sushi on our side. Literally just so happened to have sushi right next to me. In game and in real life. Is anyone for or against the coffee sushi combo? You got the cake mix. Cool. A mix used to bake tasty cakes. It restores 1 FP. Well, yeah, if you just eat it dry. Well, I'm pretty sure Tasty Toad is not in this hack. You can't use ingredients to bake stuff. Oh, this is. I'd always call this a mushroom s'more. That's a badass item, but we don't have Paracarry as well, so. Can't do nothing about it. We don't have it. Damn it. I'm an idiot. I screwed that one up big time. Yes. 
eat that cake mix, dude. It's really dry. My best Mario voice. There's also dry pasta in this that Mario eats. He chomps on that shit. None of these are made up items for this rock bag. This is all vanilla stuff. And it focuses on the battle system, which to me is one of the best things about Paper Mario, next to the visuals and music. So we can't do anything there. We have three coins or three keys. We can use two for a melon. I think that's worth it. It's a good healing item. It's gonna heal just HP for that honeydew melon. Forty-two coins. You gotta get one though. Need super boots. So we move forward. Again, too early. Let's see them. Thank <laughs> you. 
another uh, partner upgrade we gotta skip. That's two of them in the same scene. For the same run. We need Bob Bombette for that one. So here would be an opportunity where it might make sense to actually like do this, this trade with the the devil, so to speak, <laughs> the trade with the evil toad, um, where we could get this charge, charge jump badge, and, uh, and we'd have to sacrifice one heart here, which is five hearts, five HP. So it would it would bring our HP back down to ten. I'm not gonna do that, but that would be like this would be an acceptable if you wanted that badge. This would be an acceptable like moment to make this deal, I would say. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what we can buy here. In terms of healing items, Hot Shroom is going to be the cheapest. We can probably buy two Yoshi's Cookies. Let's just buy two Yoshi's Cookies. biased because I love that game, absolutely. I said it before, if Yoshi cookies existed in real life, I'd buy them all the time. So we can use one. And see what our second partner is, and Patch. Let's go. Nice, Cooper. Save a badge. During battle, it saves one FP every time you attack. Does that mean my attacks cost one FP less? It's cool that we got Cooper. This adventure loving Koopa wants to be an archaeologist. He admires Colorado, a world renowned expert in archaeology. Press down and C to toss a shell and reach items at a short distance. His specialty is attacking items on the ground, or enemies on the ground. enemies we can't jump on. Like ones like the piranha plants we can't jump on because it will get hurt and we can't jump on spiked enemies. We need Watt for that. Okay. Level 22. He's 
for Okay, okay, I know this as well. that all of our attacks cost one FP or less, which means that we, when we're at full five, we can now actually do the Mega Smash. Normally it costs six. That's a nice badge, actually. Hmm. That's a good healing item as well. Is it going to be worth it? I guess it is. We can use this. Eat the mushroom here and then get this one. This is the Maple Super. Yep, Maple Super. Dessert made by Tasty. Restores 10 HP and 10 FP. Oh shit, this room is gonna boost the attack of the enemies. There's only two enemies here. That's fine. Um, we have sushi, so we don't have to waste a key on that. And we have one key, so we'll save it. We can just do this. So this is the super jump charge badge. This is exactly what we could have traded five hearts for. So we ended up getting it later. So as you can see, it's not always worth doing those like devil toad trades. Thank you. 
Yeah, why not? I'll pay for it. We got some coins. Ooh, 150 coins. Absolutely worth it. Let's keep going. Try for mystery and hope that maybe we get the dizzy, dizzy dial again or something. Yes. Perfect. Wow, oh, that's just enough time. It didn't work on that. Oh, shit. Can't. It's three, like, three keys. Damn it. <sighs> okay, we just gotta roll with this. This is the only item we have. Hopefully, we can get to 30. 42 is the, the lowest that we've gotten. Okay. 
we might survive, it's probably not gonna happen. say that when we're in peril, there's a much higher chance that enemy's gonna miss. So I guess if they're all working together, yes, we somehow got through that. That was crazy. Coins. No way. Right, is that the Quake Hammer? It hung on by the skin of its teeth! Still no. That's way too expensive. Things will do five, five damage to us if they hit us. We just don't have a way to like stun them or anything. Nope, we're done. We're done. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Just one headbutt from a Super Saiyan Goomba, and we're good to go. <clears throat> that sucks. We got pretty far. 126 coins added to our bank account. And that means we got to start from scratch again. But having, having Cooper and uh, Sushi was a pretty good combo. <sighs> okay. How did we get to 42? <coughs> That's the real question. Like, how did that happen last stream? Here, look, uh, the the item in the room that we're in right now, which is only just the second room, is the same item that we had to trade five hearts for that we ended up finding later via a spring in another room. So the rarity of the item and like where it's placed is not uh, <clears throat> doesn't seem like it's taken into account too strictly. It seems pretty random, which is nice. This really makes the run completely different every time. So this is going to be 16, and we have 10. keys. It's not three lives, but it's as close to a three up as we're going to get in any of these runs. So if you do have the three up emote, 
whether you unlocked it via Moonstones or you're one of our subscribers, drop it into the chat. I've also got the three up sound effect, which is actually from uh, Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. You can play by doing that. All sorts of sound effects you can mess around with as well. seen this badge before. The group focus badge. Partners get more star power when doing status moves. Okay, cool. It's like the deep focus badge. Uh, that doesn't matter at the moment because star power only kicks in when you have star spirits. And so far, I've gotten to level 42. I haven't run into any star spirits. I'm not sure if they're available in this. Maybe we can unlock them. Maybe they're just extremely rare. Okay, uh, this is a great one we get if we can afford it. It's going to block us from being able to have first strike stun on us. you from being hit by a first strike. So we're the only ones that can do a first strike on the enemy. Can't fight the white clubber yet strong enough. Not without a partner. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you buying? What are you selling? Got the the shroom s'mores. <clears throat> Too expensive though. But they're the only healing item. Damn. They're the only healing item for HP. Do we buy a bunch of mysteries and gamble? I think we do, because I'd much rather have the chance of getting a super shroom or a shroom than just buying one item that's gonna heal us once. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of them. There's probably one more. Starting off with sushi again. I need all or nothing badge. If the action command works, the attack power is plus one. If not, it's zero. That means we have to just be on it with our timing. And there it goes. So, so quickly. We lose. Okay, so just gonna be one second here. I'm just gonna make a coffee for my partner and then I'll be right back. But, you know, the, the, the losses just happens that easily in this, in this round back. It's pretty crazy. This is how I felt when I first started playing The Binding of Isaac, though, when I first got into it. Here's some music from Bomberman Hero, or sorry, Bomberman 64 on the N64 in the meantime.
Okay, we're gonna play for just a little bit here. I'm just helping it with dinner, so we're gonna have a little dinner break and then I'll be back. So, thanks for sticking around, folks. Oh, hold on a second here. Just gotta refresh the old uh, controller. So I'll start from the top here. I'll just do a couple of a couple of rooms. We'll probably go to the fifth fifth room or the or the tenth room here. If we can make it. Revan, um, welcome to the stream. Thank you to everyone that's been hanging out and, and been patient with the breaks as well, the extended breaks. Okay, and open it. We did get to, like, what, 27, 28 today, but then died there. But still, our personal best is 42, level 42 in this. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was a good one. We got uh, five extra HP, so I think that's what what really made us get to where we needed to go. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. That's what really helped. We had sushi and we had Cooper, which I think is a good combo. if you want to make roguelike a little easier. Sure. I'm having fun with it, though. I'm not in any rush to, uh, to beat it. Just having fun with it. Somebody was saying uh, in the chat that, that they tried this and weirdly they found, I think it was Sega1234, they found that when messing around with uh, hard mode that it, it actually felt a little easier than normal mode. Have you tried hard mode, Revan? If I go to 430 of classic mode... Then I leave the classic pit and look around the hub area. Okay. okay. You want me to get the, the partner? So, uh, the third partner in classic mode. Gotcha. We might die here. This might have been done. Not brave enough to try hard mode yet. You're gonna try to beat everything up to the final boss before you can consider hard mode. Nice. Apparently, it's easier, which doesn't make sense. But... Oh, you meant hard as in the royal hard, as in easy. I got you.
Yeah, we're gonna die here, folks. It's gonna happen. Shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have done it. No! bought the super boots for classic mode from this guy over here. I forget his name. From Oakley. But we don't quite have another thousand points. Um, I'm gonna just take another quick break here just for dinner. Um, sorry about the length of the last break. Um, but I'll be right back, folks. So stick wow. around. Here's some more music from Bomberman64. And yeah. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, you know, if you have to go, you have to go, but all my videos do get uh, uploaded to YouTube. Uh, you can check out my VODs on my Twitch channel, and then also, that's the whole purpose of my YouTube channel, is to upload every single one of my streams. So if you're watching on YouTube, this is part three of Paper Mario Black Pit. We'll dive further in, and hopefully we can get close to our personal best uh, tonight. Let's try.
you know what, I have to do some logistics stuff uh, because I'm just getting some lag for some reason on my end. I think what I'm going to do quickly here is, uh, unfortunately, what this is what happened last time too. Um, I'm just going to, we'll raid someone. So stick around, we'll just end the stream for now. We'll continue and we'll do a brand new uh, run next time. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific, I'm going to be doing, actually tomorrow and Thursday, I'm going to be doing uh, the continued weekly co-op that I do with Wrath A.V. Mori. We're both going to be playing Pokemon Emerald. We're both very close to the seventh gym uh, badge. And yeah, we have to do some training, get our, our team up to where we need to, but it'll be 11 a.m. Pacific both days. And then Friday, we'll do another episode of more games about eating and food, where we use the retro roulette, we spin the wheel, and whatever game we get, we have to play. Um, it's been a super fun stream today. It's been a super fun stream the last couple of days, actually, really um, diving into the the Paper Mario Black Pit. If you haven't played the original Paper Mario before, check it out. If you haven't played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, check, definitely check it out. It's 100% worth it. We're going to raid Shodan Freeman, who is streaming right now. And uh, yeah, let's go hang out there. He does a giveaway as well, so you might get a chance to win yourself a Steam game, an indie retro game or something like that. Um, so be sure to hang out. You're going to get extra moonstones for doing so. Um, I will see everyone in the next stream and in Shodan's chat. And I'll see everyone tomorrow for Pokemon Emerald with Wrath A.V. Murray. Take care, everyone. And if you're watching on YouTube, click that subscribe button. If you're not following my channel already and you're not following me on Twitter, do so, because then I'll let you know when and what I'm streaming next. And it helps the channel to grow. So thank you. Have a great night. And see you in Shodan's chat.